All right, guys, how's it going out there? Rooster here in Tennessee. Another little simple uh, tube amp here. As you guys can see, it used to be a Mako 500, I guess. But now, uh, Redbone has been in this one, and it's got four 6LQ6s in there. Just a straight four. There's your transformer. And you may even be able to see the fan right through there. But um, he just took this thing, modified it, put four 6LQ6s in it. Now, he recommended 80 watts, I think, PEP going in. Uh, in my opinion, it could probably take a little bit more than that, but again, that's all up to, all up to you guys. That's kind of what he recommended, you know, 80 Watts in and just let it do whatever it does with the four straight six LQ sixes have seen some six LQ six amps like that. that had multi tubes for the driver's side going into four, six LQ sixes, but, uh, we're going to hit it with about 80 Watts as recommended. This is our RFX 29. Now, on 14.5, 15 volts, this thing will do 95 to 105 watts, but we're only running about 13.8 right now, and uh, so, you know, it's only going to do about 80 watts, maybe 75 watts going in. All right, well, that being said, we'll test it. Pretty simple amp, two tuners on the front and a little input tune in the uh, back. has a standby here, and then your, uh, I think our indicator light works. Hello, audio. Yeah, it's got a little delay to it, but it works, so. This ain't gonna be no big expensive amp, guys. I mean, look, it is what it is. It needs painted and stuff, and it's not a big powerhouse. So, just kind of a little budget amp for somebody. Something kind of cool, and if you want something that's been uh, created by Redbone, then there you go. Uh, we'll show you what it's doing. 1,000 watt slug. We're on average power. We'll look at the bottom scale here first. Oh. And remember, this meter out here reads a little bit stingy. So about 150 watts average. Yeah, and this thing reads a little bit on the tight side. It's one of the newer newer uh, 43s there. Hello. Audio, 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 400 PP. So, you know, what could you run into this thing? Well... If we're talking new radios, like if you want to run like a new radio and you just want a little bit of little tube tube stuff in line, a lot of people are, are big believers in the uh, having a tube amp in line kind of gives that little edge to your audio, kind of gives it a little bit different presence. Really what you're hearing when you when you when you hear that on in C B world anyway, is just a little bit of distortion added to it. Now, I am one of those people that prefers to run a glass tube amp in line, whether that be sweep tubes or you know, 500 Z's or even some of the larger glass tubes. I'm one of those people that, that tends to believe that way. So if you wanted to, you know, you could run like a striker, 955, 655, 447 into one of these and then run this into a larger amp if that's kind of what you want to do. It would be a pretty sweet setup. So like uh, one of those radios into this, into like a three tube 500 Z or one of those into this into, you know, a smaller steel tube. So there you guys go. That's it. Rooster here in Tennessee, roostercb.com. I would prefer local pickup on this one, but it's not that heavy. I might consider shipping it. Um, I just have to take the covers off and, and take the tubes out, but pretty cool little amp here, guys. I wouldn't even mind keeping it. For what I've got in it, I wouldn't mind keeping this thing. All righty. Have a good one out there, everybody. Rooster here in Tennessee, roostercb.com. See you, bye.